Welcome to Glowing Hour. We're your hosts, Sam and Mel. We have new music and a new intro. What do you guys think? So excited. It's a bunch of news lately, so... (laughs) Get ready to the newness. We're excited about it. And hopefully, I wish we could, like, hear it like, as it's... Be- as like, it's maybe right. we should, like, start doing that. We're really like, play it for ourselves. We listen to it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how we would coordinate that, but that would be fun. But anyways, uh, as you know, Glowing Hour, we have a little drink. And today, we're having June Shine. No surprise. We thought about having... Not really. We didn't actually think about it, but it was a thought to like have something because the bottle's like pouring out but you get the idea you get the idea you know it's a drinking segment (laughs) yes exactly glug 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 that's all we we should say bye glug 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 i just spilled all over myself love it (laughs) cheers to that this Um, one tastes like a beer maybe that's why we don't like it yeah, Lenny loves that one. Oh, does she? I'm like, you like Well, she beer. likes beer, so. I mean, I like beer. I just don't want to be drinking a beer when I'm drinking June Shine. Yeah, it's a little beer. Reminiscent. It's kind of a failure of me drinking. Oh, my God. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> All over yourself, basically. All over myself. So, today we thought a fun episode would be the best and worst bars in LA. To our opinion. Yeah. Let's set that for It's not fact. And we haven't been to every bar in LA. We've just been to some. And yeah. we'll even be listing some bars that we know are popular and maybe haven't been to just to talk about. Just get some feelers out what our thoughts are, what our friends' thoughts are, you know? Yeah. Just want to see what's up. So Pulling without further ado, should we do best? Yeah. And then worse or just like a mix? Like just name a bar and be like, what do you guys think? And then we say it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just start with like the obvious one that we've like spoken about. Me? Question mark. Anyway. <laughs> and like which one? <laughs> the one we've, we've spoken about a few times because it's been kind of a failure to get in lately. Right. Tenants of the Trees. How do we feel? Listen. It's complicated. It's a complicated relationship. Here are the reasons why. Yes. Mommy, please. I love him. Like, let me stay. <laughs> no, actually. But daddy, I love him. I don't want to go there. But I do. <laughs> <laughs> like, it is horrible. It's a horrible experience when you don't get in. Yeah. It's also a horrible experience when you probably get roofie. <laughs> You know, (laughs) some might say, I don't know. Right. That I agree with. And so getting in sometimes isn't all that it's chalked up to be. No. But the times that I've had there, though, make me want to keep coming back. But maybe we need to find a new one. Absolutely. A little more consistent of a girl. I don't disagree. Yes. But one more time. (laughs) (laughs) It's just the times we've had have, ha, 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 have, have been good, but like the times we get denied is so frustrating because yeah. they really don't have a reason. Like they, it's arbitrary I and think it's very LA. Like it just feels, so like it's LA. very like, oh, you're me, an LA me. babe. Yeah. Yeah. I also think that like it went from being like a really fucking cool place to it being kind of like fucking lame. <laughs> That nobody went to for a while, and I was still wanting to go because I was like, but I love this place. You love the vibe, the atmosphere. Yeah. I like, like, the, 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 can I speak, the different rooms and stuff. Anyway. Yeah. And then now it became, like, kind of, like, this, like, kind of how, like, the Victorian feels, which we'll talk about. But, like, can you get in? But it's also, like, do I even want to be here? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it's feeling so very on Santa point. Monica. It's very on point. And I just... There's something to be said about all parts of LA and any part you go to to go out, but there is like that consistent like uppityness about yeah. certain places. Yeah, certain places. And I don't like that because to me it's like if you don't have a valid reason for me to be be inside this bar, like why? Because it's like oh you'll let in twenty people in front of me, but you've been telling me there's capacity. 
Right. Like, no, that's not, it's not cute. It's not a good look. And it just makes the people who attend feel like shit. I agree. And it's like, how can we exist on both ends? And I'm not saying like, well, you let me in once, let me in every time. But like, you literally just make up rules. Mm -hmm. And like, that's not fair. And that's why we should stop going, going because that's the reason they still have the hype is that people will wait in line. Absolutely. Like for me, waiting in line is crazy in general. Like I, I hate a line. Yeah. But I'm also like, that's all I knew before even going to LA. Like when we used to go out in Fullerton, I, or I don't think we've ever been out together. Yeah. But like when I used to go out to Fullerton, I feel like it's nothing but fucking lines. And like people soon that's its own thing. Do buy off people to get in. But yeah. You know what I mean. It, but so it's, it's it's different energy for some reason. Like, it's like, we're all waiting in line, and only if you're paying, you'll get in. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I can understand a, a, a paying to get in. Fine. Not like a look. Right. A looks vibe. Exactly. And, Next. Exactly. Like, yeah, 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 I yeah. can respect the money, okay? <laughs> I cannot respect the... Well, I feel like you don't look cool enough. I feel like that's kind of just, like, the name of the... the club but it's like, Marcy. everyone's so drunk in there. Who are you impressing with the people you let in? It's just more so like an exclusivity like feel like. But I'm just wondering. You like, want to get in because you can't get in. I mean, I, okay, the last time was because we were drunk. That, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Our I'll accept as a group. Fucking messy. As a group, it was a mess. We were so close. But the time before that, they let a man. It was Halloween. They let a man in a penguin onesie in before us. Girls dressed in hot Halloween costumes. I will say, I feel like it was a closed event though. But why'd they let the guy? The guy literally said, "Oh, there's this event happening." He was so, no, he had no idea. There was no close event. By himself. I don't know. No, he wasn't. He was with a group of dudes. Which is just like, you're at least follow the stereotypes if you're gonna, (laughs) like, let the hot girls in. Yeah. You don't need a guy in a penguin costume. You need us. It's true. I'll give you that. Right? Yeah. Okay, well, Tenants has a mixed review. Mixed review for us. Bar Flores. Not the same vibe of, like, dancing, I will say. But I think this is part of my best list. Same. I know some people don't really like it, but I'm also just like... Like one of the... Like what? Like that's small? I feel like Bar Flores is where you go with your friends. Like because you want to be with your friends, not because you want to... Meet other people. Meet other people or dance. Or maybe you can, but I feel mm-hmm. like... It's a place to go that's vibey, have a nice, nice little cocktail. cocktail but the chat. vibes still feel like high, not like sit down and like... Just to fall asleep have, like a little chat like you could still have like a good time like the music is still a good yeah. yeah 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 i agree you get a picture bar flores pitcher good okay short stop i like the short stop personally. the short stop so fun yeah i will say mixed reviews on music most of the time really mixed reviews but, on music but i feel like it's so chill and so like carefree and that's what i enjoy yeah i feel like no one's judging me yeah. It's like giving dive without it actually being a dive it's like, bar. It's like the dive club, not the dive bar. It's like yeah. the dive club. Because like the dancing room don't love how small it is and like how hot it gets in there. <laughs> but it's fun. It's so fun. Even if the mu I mean the music's never been like horrible. I don't for me. Mm. I've never been like, oh, I can't even sway to this or anything. Well no. You know what I mean? Like it's never been like It's just kind of corny. It's very corny. I will get Drake stuff, some yeah. like Iggy Azalea even maybe was thrown right. in. It's, corny. It's corny, but like you have a good time. But when are you going to listen to corny music? When you're at the shortstop. <laughs> but the photo booth the really. The photo booth eats. And but they have billard, billard tables. They rebranded. The They're photo, not there anymore? No, the photo booth is oh. still there, but they changed the paper. It's not as vintagey looking. It's a little oh. bit nicer. Okay, kind of like. It's okay. It's, yeah, it's just a difference. Okay. Like I, I looked at one of my, and the, I was like, oh. Different. Interesting. Still five dollars though. At least the paper quality is better for your five bucks. We hope, maybe. Okay, next one. Little Joy. I just realized that like the last three or four have all been together, like in the same like little area. Nook. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Little Joy. Because you can hop around, and that's mm-hmm. kind of a plus. That's a plus. That adds to the allure. That adds to the allure. Yes. Um. Little Joy. I feel mid. Yeah, it's a hit or miss. It's been fun. And it's been, let's uh, leave, quickly. Yeah, quickly. Very quickly. I think, like, the structure of the bar itself. Cute. Cute, but what I'm saying is, like, not a lot of capacity. No. 
It's, it's supposed to be like a sit down, let's chat kind of place, mm-hmm. but it tries to be like this is the place to go after a game, and there's way too many people. It's just the DJ. There's no place to dance. No, like not really. Like sort of a little tiny area, but it is. Or maybe we're just trying to make it a dance floor, and they're just like, we're just trying to play good music while people talk. Please go away. Please go away. Maybe we're the problem. Maybe. I'll accept that. And they're like, go to the short stop, leave. This is the chill place. I can't tell you, though, like anything memorable about that place for me. There was a fight there that was funny over the pool table. Well, yeah. (laughs) But more so, like, that makes me want to keep coming back, like the music or like the drinks. Like, I I can't remember anything specific. It's giving. It's giving like Sit a, down. It's a like, short stop. Not like the short stop, yeah, but like a short, a short time. time to stop by in your bar, bar crawl. I feel like you'd be like a date cap. Mm. Like we're going to cap our date with one last drink after this Dodger game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Little Joy, have a drink, and leave. Yeah. But like see, if I was doing that, I'd rather just go to Little Boy. It's food only, right? It's not oh, a bar. It's food and bar. But like it's not like a bar. You know what I mean? Like well, the way Little just... Joy has like. A bar vibe. I feel like Low Boy has more of a restaurant. Mm. No? There's a bar straight in the, across in the back, and there's booths. Maybe because of booths. Yeah, but, the booths. And there's like cocktail tables in the middle. Yeah, the booths give. It's almost like uncomfortable to eat there, but it's good. Why? I just feel like it's so small. <laughs> it is small. But that's like why even I'm... the booths feel small to eat with four people in them. Yeah, they do. Anyway, that's why I'd rather go. Or actually, I would rather go to Bar Flores for the nightcap. You get what I'm saying? It's just it's yeah. just lower on my list. I guess it depends on what you know. If you like the drink better at Bar Flores versus yeah, I've never had a custom drink at Little Joy, so maybe we're missing something there. I maybe there I is a specialty cocktail that maybe I've never. You're right. I feel like they're not though. <laughs> I'm giving them way too much credit on that. Okay, next on the list, the edition. Sunset at the edition, or yeah, yeah. We been once. I have. I think I've been twice or three times. Yeah. It it was cute. I really liked that bar. It was cute. I'm trying to think, is there anything bad I could say about it? The lines were interesting for the bathroom, but not not going to put it on the worst list for anything. That is everywhere, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think aesthetically, I think that's like, and like how large it is, is what I personally like about it. It reminds me of the bungalow santa monica or like wherever it, whichever location you're at like how it's supposed to be like living room vibe oh, like it's like a house but this one's more like basement <laughs> like, yeah like you're in the basement of someone's it's house like as opposed a to the 70s living room. house though yeah like yeah so i like that i love like the, all it's the homey the um disco balls the so disco cute. balls are cute and i just feel like they have good djs when there's a dj there is like a designated like dance floor which is a designated good. pool area, seating area. Like, it's pretty well-rounded in that it's way. It's well-rounded. And I like bar, that place. Multiple bar? No, one bar. One one bar. Two? One. Two. I think two. I know I one for sure. Wrong. I don't know. It's pretty drunk well, Of course, night. at least one. <laughs> at least one. <laughs> this is a bar. <laughs> um, would, would be interested in going again. Like, more, re- like, in this day and age Was now. it exclusive? Was it, it annoying? Wasn't. Because I know when I went, like a birthday, when it we was like together. a special table thing. So. I don't think so. Okay. I didn't feel like it was that hard. Okay, cool. next. Akbar, which you've never been to. It's also a gay mm-hmm. bar. I think I've only been to this one to this bar one time. It was a long time ago too, but even when I remember I feel like it, people still talk about it today and when I went to it then it was still really like fun and vibrant and like it's just a good time. I will say where there's is this? like where I think it's in Silver Lake. I haven't been in so long. Yeah, it's like in Silver Lake. Okay. Like, East, East Hollywood, Silver Lake. Mm-hmm. The only thing that I feel like a lot of non-queer people are like, I don't know if I feel like I'm inv- I'm supposed to be here, like, invited. Oh. Which, I don't know if that's true. I don't know. Not, mm-hmm. not Like, maybe it's not their space, space to be in. To be in. Like However. When, when I go out to WeHo and I feel not in the right space. <laughs> listen. We'll talk about it. Okay, we'll in get the there. worst, but but Ak is is the best. Ak bar, yeah, it's on the it's best. a fucking fun bar. Maybe only good music for the for the, the gays. Maybe maybe, maybe only for maybe the gays. we don't know. We're not sure. <laughs> Unclear. Honey's, which I've never been to, but I feel like everyone keeps talking about how fun this place is, and mm-hmm. it's like a hidden gem that like hasn't been taken over like t- like tenants has. You know what I mean? Like where it's become 
annoying because it is it is there's something to be said about an aesthetically cute place yeah i think it just depends on what what you're looking for for a bar because some people go to bars with like i want to know what your specialty cocktail is and if you don't have right. one then why am i here then why or am like, i here i only like dive bars because i like the pool tables yeah. and playing game whatever and then if you're us we just order tequila soda so that doesn't even matter it's irrelevant <laughs> to me i want to spend the least amount of money as possible and just give me the cheapest tequila soda you can so that one is like on the to-go list but got a chair honorable mention not gatekeep next one june shine <laughs> sounds silly but we had such a good time and obviously we're we big fans big fans of the product itself mm-hmm. i gotta say if you like june shine i think it's worth your time to go into the bar because it does taste different on tap absolutely and not in a like oh my god the canned stuff just doesn't taste good but it just tastes like fresher more crisp. I don't know if that's crisp and carbonated. A and thing for like beers, like on tap that they taste, but I'm sure, right? I'm like, that's, sure it's a thing. So it, it makes sense. Yeah, it's just like fresher. I don't mm-hmm. have to explain it, but it's very small though. Um, but I will say we waited in line and it wasn't that bad. Mm-mm. Like we happened to be there a line, long event, whatever was happening, and we didn't wait that long, considering how small the place was. Yeah. So, it was a good time. Yeah rooster fish we're kind of moving into like san monica area mm-hmm. we went there after after june shine after june shine i feel like that pl- I, w- I was not in the mood to be like dancing or that kind of vibe so kind of unfair or biased yeah thoughts there but like overall it was a it was i feel like it could be fun yeah i think it was a good bar i don't know if we didn't want to dance or if the music just wasn't it but the dance floor seemed cramped mm-hmm so that was hard but it was a good vibe it was a good time but i also feel like when the dance floor is cramped you know that it it's probably a fun place time. to dance right you know what i'm saying yeah maybe we just weren't in the mood then because it was I just wasn't in the we mood were like sure. i don't want to be in this but mess. i did like how the bar kind of was like like the actual like Layout. bar bar like the mm. liquor or where you order is kind of like in the middle in the center so you like anywhere you are in the bar you could kind of order Mm-hmm. i, I did like that that's I, pretty cool I will say, when I went to go up in order, there was, like, you know, a line of people in the front. <laughs> and then we were just with Linny, it. and Linny was just standing by the side, and there was a guy next to her. And I was like, mm, girl, do you think we can order here? Like, there's, like, big big group of people on that side of the bar. And then I asked the bartender, I was like, hey, is it possible for us to order here? Do we need to get in the back of, the, of like, those people? And he goes, oh, no, let me help you out. And then the guy on the other side was... Pissed. Pissed. And I was like, I was just genuinely asking a question. I was not trying to use my pretty privilege or anything. It's his fault, not mine. <laughs> and then he took our order, but I don't think that's normal. So discrepancy if you're a man, maybe. Slash also just be kind. Yeah, and I was really kind about it. They were all giving like angry eyes to the bartenders. Bathroom, one stall situation. A big stall, but only one. But only one. Was there two... Like- I restrooms but only, no there might have been two i think there's like two like doors with two separate like bathrooms yeah. but keep that in mind a little bit of a line all a little night. bit of a line yeah the next one is the black cat i've been to this one once or twice maybe it's so cute very like cozy mm. is a nice cozy bar like a jazz bar type or no not like dim like in that way just more so like how do i explain it like small the fabrics like, what's cozy about it curtains what's the going vibes on? like the vibes are cozy candles like what <laughs> just, let me see let me i guess it is kind of like dim like dimish yeah i guess it is dimish it's just like cozy like the vibes in there are like girl it's pitch black in there. that's like a bad photo oh here we go no it's it's giving dark dim the colors are also just like moody kind of like, giving like a library like your private library in your house yeah like a private office yeah like with like leather, it's homey like leather green, but rich but rich yeah it feels like you would order like a specialty cocktail here i and really hope some yummy food people know. opening bars use our episode as consumer <laughs> feedback feedback because this is really helpful information just in general like when i go into bar like this isn't a bar in san diego but i really liked it and it i feel like they had the points the points the vibes on point like record store in the back 
and then they played record music only inside the bar like just little details like that really takes a bar from like is from mid, like, mid to, to but it's not a dance bar you know what right. i'm saying so you're like going you know, for a different vibe exactly for sure okay the next one i have on here is blue collar is that the one that's the one we went to that's the one we went to it was cute i like that it's one. giving dive but not like not game dive bar just like i could walk in and order my regular if i was to do such a thing but i don't i see what you're saying you know what i mean it like it could like, be a casual stop it in. feels like a small not like small yeah like a small ta- town bar that yeah. you like no that's and you could just walk in it's not like this big deal or you gotta dress up cute that bar i see that bar as like the nightcap bar let's have one last drink yeah mm-hmm. and like somehow we went to date, that bar though, after a date and then got dragged out right <laughs> after a date yeah um also a special thing about that bar is that they're like their bartenders are actually like m- real mixologists So you can tell them, I, like, want something fruity and spicy. See, that's nice. That's vodka. That you're, like, you know. You go in, you don't have to be wearing anything special. You don't have to, like, put on the show. But you get that experience out of it. Yeah. I love Blue Collar. It's such a cute little gem. Where is that? It's It's in, like, um, like near the Grove. So what would that be, like? Carthay? Carthay or Fairfax? Fairfax? Okay. Okay. Next we have johnny's johnny's which is like right next to i think it's called the bar at johnny's more formally (laughs) right it's next to johnny's pastrami which is in west adams cute little bar i agree it's a lot of the time like pretty empty but not like empty (laughs) like like, like, i've been there like deserted but like just like slow vibes slow vibes but there's a lot of like room to sit and like hang out it is like even more so like instead of a a nightcap it's like casual date night like we want to go out somewhere but we don't want to spend a ton Mm -hmm. but we still want to treat ourselves to something like a little bit special yeah i don't remember when it was but there was like a night that i went i think with Brittany and logan and there was really fun music playing. Like, their security guard turned out to be, like, the DJ. It was so random. I love that. And he was playing, like, all the fucking, like, Latino, like, hits. Mm-hmm. And so, like, we were all just dancing. It was a good time. I love that. I felt like a mini, 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 like, Las Perlas. You know what I mean? I feel like it's bigger than that. No, but, like, the vibes. The vibes. The people. I mean, because yeah. it's not packed. Yeah. it's it, it actually makes the place feel too big yeah sometimes yeah next pinkies which is in los Feliz. such a cute bar you've been there no i don't think so yeah for britney's birthday the last bar we went to before tenants god girl like of course. drunk i don't know what um, Pinkies. where is it it's Describe like inside her. an alleyway yes <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> i love pinkies their drinks are wait didn't we only pee immaculate. there We've peed there. What do you mean? Didn't we just walk in and pee? And then we dipped? I thought. No, we walked in, peed. We all each ordered a drink. Maybe you didn't, but I don't know. We each ordered a drink, sat down. And I remember that's where Jess left us because she was, like, tired. And I was like, damn, you made it basically the whole night besides the club. Right. I'm thinking the place to the right of Pinky's when we walked in and peed one time. (laughs) One time. That was after, like, thrifting or something. Yeah. No, to the left. To the left. Right. Cute. I liked the cocktail, whatever it was. The cocktails are so good there. Don't remember what I got. Like a spicy margarita or something. I have no idea. That is the only place that I will not order a tequila soda. Tequila soda. Because they're decent price, too, and they're good. Yeah, they're good. And it's, it's, like, intimate but fun. Like, But also a little, like, packed. A little packed. Just packed enough to where you're not like... <laughs> you're not annoyed, but you're like, okay, like there's it's popular. You do steal a table the second you see one. Absolutely. So that's why it's not really a dance place. Right. But it can be. Right. If you're, but the thing I also like is like sometimes they'll let you... I think actually you can drink outside as well. They'll have like tables in the alleyway. Yeah, yeah. Because security is at the end of the... Yeah. So it's hall. kind of fun that like you have all of that space. Yeah. I love an outdoor like option. <laughs> Yeah, that's always nice. So, pinkies, pinkies go there. The den. I've never been. Sam. Okay, so I went during COVID. So maybe a different experience, but I would say the den is also a mid-ranged girl. Like, this is... During COVID, I guess apparently to be a bar and be open during COVID, which I was out wearing a mask. 
it was COVID. Okay. It was like four years ago. Got me a break. And they were selling food, but the food was Chips Ahoy. And you had to buy food in order to get a drink. So you basically had to buy Chips Ahoy cookies in order to order a drink. That which is, is like, so crazy. I'm like, y'all really that like unequipped Desperate. to just get like a frozen pizza and a toaster oven? Like at least, come on, like give real food to people <laughs> if I'm paying for food. Anyways. How much were the Chips Ahoy? I have 75 cents, a dollar. Oh, like, wasn't that? It was no, like, I don't think it was like $10 and then a drink. No, I think it was like a dollar or two or whatever. Okay. And then you, ha- that was just their loophole. But anyways, it's a cute. I like the little fire pit in the middle. Vanderpump Rules filmed an episode there once, so that was cute. Um, and it's across from Chateau Marmont, which fun, that's, fun little that's LA. A fun, yeah, like I <laughs> went to a bar across from Chateau Marmont, and you could take pics outside yeah. or if you wanted. I don't know. Goals is to go to Chateau Marmont. Goals. Okay. We could start at the den. We'll start at the den. That's our uh, our beginning, and hopefully we end at Chateau. <laughs> okay. Next is employees only. Fan favorite here fan favorite i don't know if i would have the same experience if i no, i would like if you didn't if i didn't know anybody there before i don't know either we'd have to try it we'd have to try it but i do think that it's just like it's also specifically because of like the friend group we have because every time we've gone it's it feels like a more like it's cozy a sit, like definitely. sit down place but we'll start turning it into like a fucking let's all get up and dance we're it's insane not my fault. for that why are you hiring a dj then why are you paying people good money for this good music <laughs> was i supposed to what? sit down for this that's not my fault like literally on your birthday there was a couple having a date a dinner date at 11 p.m mind you but still that's on you that is on you and we were twerking on the tables not on top of the tables but like leaning leaning on the tables and he was like yes and she was like yes they're they're eating it up they're eating it it was cute they're a little bit older so it was like yeah it's fun but i'm like should we have been dancing (laughs) i can't imagine that it being like the situation like being them and it was like your first date and you're just like Trying not to look to your right, like divert your eyes like, to these girls twerking. twerking on the side. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but still, I really recommend that bar to like anybody who's just like, hey, like I'm trying to meet someone somewhere. Like, where can I go? I'm always like, employees only is just such a like s- staple. Do they still have? Because I know they had like that the late night situation. That and the late night like little area with a DJ. So they don't have the outdoor anymore because they're right next to Delilah's, which. Never been. That's probably on this list of, I don't know, maybe worse. I've been once and just the exclusivity of it all kind of annoys me. So, yeah. I mean, I got in, but <laughs> with a reservation. <laughs> so, right, like in between them two, there was like a little parking lot that's like usually meant for just like valet. Yeah. They used to turn that, they turned that into like a outdoor bar. Which was really COVID, cute. Which was super fucking cute. They had and grass, it was fun. didn't it? They yeah, I had like turf. It was so cute. They really did that. Um. But after COVID, like, started to die down, they took that out completely because then they started renovating the inside during that time. Oh. So, yeah, now they have an inside, and now there's, like, a section in the back. That is for dancing. Now they turned it into dancing, which I haven't been since. But but does it connect? They, they're like, we need it. We, yeah, we're sound a need. Clearly, these girls need to twerk, and it's not going to be in these in people's the dinner. Down, right. <laughs> We got to go back then. I do like it because they have, like, that long bar across the front. Mm -hmm. And then seating. I wonder how that works, though, because you would still need to walk through the seated people to get to the dancing area. It's definitely not. There's a bar in the back. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's a bar. Then you just go there, I guess. But there's no, like, even though we're saying dinner, I don't think it's, like, an intimate dinner. Like, I, I you should know going in that this isn't a first date spot where you're going to get to know a lot about them. Yeah. It's, like, a little loud. Unless you go, like, when the bar opens-ish. Yeah. Like, 11 p.m. Like, probably, like, 5 to 8 is, like, a good time for that kind of thing. And then if you wanted to carry into. Yeah. Maybe let's go grab a drink back here and Let's just stay here all day. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Why not? Yeah. Employees only is a good for me. Or what do you call it? Best. (laughs) Gold diggers. You went there for an event. I went there for a jazz event. Really fun. Really cute. I didn't sit. I had to stand the whole event, oh. which was kind of a bummer, yeah. but is to be expected. It was like a sold out event or whatever. Uh, really good music. Really nice people. I 
I don't have nice bathrooms. <laughs> like I don't have any complaints, but I will say the appeal, like for some of the bars we spoke on earlier is that there's so much like to do around them. Mm -hmm. I don't, I didn't look up, but I don't think there was a lot to do around this bar. But no, maybe, there isn't. Yeah. It's like, in it's the like the a, middle it's of like closed trip. shopping stores yeah. once you're there. Yeah. So. So that's kind of. It's like you go for an event or a dinner or they're like. Or you go there to eight. stay there most of the night. Yeah. Which like is fine because there is really good music when you're like there to go dancing. Yeah. Like DJ dancing. Like. Yeah. Music. Okay. Um. They also have like live music sometimes too, which. Oh my God. Maybe I'm thinking of a different place. Gold Diggers. <laughs> I think I am. And now I'm remembering it. They were playing country the night I went. Fun. Yeah. Really random. That's random. I like but that. But they were one. great. They were beautiful little singers. Love them. It was great. It was cute. Period. Gold Diggers is a good one. I've only been there once, though. Mm -hmm. But I should return. But then the thing is, like, that's that's the tiff there is, like, there's nothing to do around. So you, you already know you if you don't want to, like, commit to that place alone, you have to Uber again. Yeah. Or, you know, I just want to stay out till 11 and go home and after go that home. or whatever. Right. Um, next one is Good Times at Davy Wayne's. I've never been there. I've never been there in the nighttime. Oh. I've been there during the day. Is it like a restaurant? Or um, just bar all or day? Or maybe not. Nope. Thinking of a different place. <laughs> nope. Different place. Actually, this is, I think, where my boss works. What? I've never been to this one, actually. But I hear it's good. I hear the music's fun. The drinks are, like, kind of like you want to get a specialty cocktail kind of place. Mm. They do have live music at this one. That's cute. What was I thinking of? It's in Hollywood. I can't remember it. Whatever. It's gone. It's fleeting. It's a fleeting moment. Next is uh, the infamous Barney's Beanery, which is a fucking chain. And I just... It's a chain. Yes. There's like one in like Pasadena. There's one obviously in WeHo. There's... there. It's more so like a... This is going to sound awful. I'm ready. But kind of like a... Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> yeah. Like I get vibe. those vibes, yeah. So I think it's so crazy that it's, like, become, like, the place to go now in WeHo. But it's only the place because people found out celebrities go there, right? Yeah, I guess so. But, like, celebrities go everywhere. Like, but a little also, known fact to us all. Right. Celebrities go I don't. Everywhere. I just don't know why it became, like, the, <clears throat> the, place, the place to go. Because, like, I don't know when that switched up. Like, I used to go there before I had, like, a real ID. Nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? In Pasadena. And I went to the WeHo one, like, a couple times in that time frame. And it just wasn't, like, it wasn't vibey. Like, we went there to play pool. Like, it wasn't. But that's, like, what's in. Like, think Brat Summer and think cigarettes. Yeah, I guess you're right. Like, it's cheetah just, print and a dive like bar. It's, like, mind-boggling for me because I feel like that's the place we went because we couldn't go to other places because I was too young, you know? Because <laughs> you don't necessarily have to, like, drink there to be there because it's, like, kind of right. like a restaurant. Almost. Right. Oh, so they don't check ID at the door? or No, they, oh, they, they did. Do. Moving on. <laughs> Doesn't matter what year that was or who the doorman was. <laughs> um, Next, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This one's in Koreatown. I think we should go there maybe for Tori's birthday because it's just like, I think, I've never been there. Mm -hmm. But it looks like a fun dancing spot. I love a fan, kind fun of like, dancing Kind spot. of like Sunset at the Edition vibes, but okay. like a little bit less. Homey? Yeah. Okay. A little more like flash. A little more flashy. A little more uh, little funny. Like, like more fun. euphoria. Like euphoria. Vibes. A little more euphoria. Yeah, 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 yeah. Las Perlas. It's a very it's a, specific. It's a specific night. Yes. You don't go there with like, we'll see where. The, no, you know where the night's taking you. <laughs> you know exactly where the night's taking you. Latin music, tequila, mezcal. Yeah. And that's. And that's the vibe. Bed. Like, yeah. you get set I also would to say bed. way better when there's live music versus when there's not. I think we went when it was not. And it wasn't as fun, in my opinion. Did they do they always remove some booths? I think so. Right. It's nice. Um, and I've been harassed there, so. Oh. For being. <laughs> my ex-boyfriend was hit on at the bar and he thought he deserved a cookie for not <laughs> hitting on her back. <laughs> what a time. He deserves a flick in the head. Well, that's a it's a very specific night. Like if you want to have like a Latin dance night, go there. And there's a need. It's downtown, right? Yeah, it's downtown. E P and L P. 
apparently another hot bar that everyone's trying to get into because there's always a fucking line and what did i say about lines i hate fucking lines so we've never been because yeah. of that <laughs> like for me maybe this is our issue is that we leave too fucking late you know what no, I mean? No, that's definitely the fucking issue. <laughs> like, if we weren't arriving to the first bar at 11 no, when or I 12. I tell you that, <laughs> like, for example, on my, for my birthday. Yeah. When we went to Tenants. Yes. Not this time. Well, we didn't even try this time. We did. Yes, we did. I meant the <laughs> previous year. Okay. We, we were there earlier. What? I don't know. But, but yes. also, it wasn't popping But then that, that year, year we went to Halloween, Halloween the year before that. It's Halloween. You know what? I can't. I can't you can't make a case. I have a tip with fucking tenants. We really anyway. can't make a case for them. But yeah, no, I think there's a difference because if you're ready by like 1030. Let's make it our mission for the next year to be we're, ready earlier. We're ready by 10. Latest. We leave by 10. We're not ready because ready by we're 10 means we're taking shots. Right. We're at the bar at 1030. Yeah. Okay. Maybe even early if if possible, because like June shine, we were there. What? Nine. 30? No, we went there at like 10, 10 30. Was it? Fuck. Yeah. We had dinner. It was a whole We were there for like an hour and a half. Yeah. And it was, they had closed at 12. Right. But any, yes, like getting there at midnight, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. No, actually. <laughs> we're like, first bar line. <laughs> line <laughs> for another hour. Yeah. Getting in for one hour, going home. Yeah. And then you try to get trashed in that hour because you're like, I need to make use of Most what of I just this. have. In. Yeah, yeah. So, not fun. Go early, ladies. Yeah, new, new advice. Lastly, I have Apartment 200. Have I been. think one of the coolest bars in LA. The only problem I have, it's so small. Mm. And, like, ev- everybody loves that bar. Good-ass music, though. <laughs> Good-ass DJs. Like, whatever hot, like, smaller DJ in LA that you can think of has played there. And bigger ones, too. So, it's, like, it's such a fun place yeah. to go dancing. But it's packed to the fucking. So what's your brim. recommendation? Going early, just not. I mean, just you're, you're gonna be in like a space full of people. Like regardless, it's not even about getting in. It's, oh, it's difficult. Not. They let you in. It's just like the capacity. It's capacity, capacity. Like they, they're they counting their numbers it. and they're probably pushing it. It's Dang. really small in there. I'm also like the bathroom situation huge. I'm like, why don't y'all just like cut cut down a little? Cut down that situation. Interesting. If you're listening think about it but fun place okay interesting maybe we should go soon it's a fun one yeah we should. i think it's also like one of the more like diverse bars in la considering like also where it's at it's like in weho Mm -hmm. i think it's in weho i think it is yeah Mm -hmm. like in weho just like diverse for the area diverse for the area all right, right let's get to the worst worst of it all yeah um my absolute favorite worst, favorite worst, is the Abbey. And let's just talk on WeHo in general. Listen, I've been twice as a queer woman. I just don't even feel that I belong. <laughs> it feels like a very like gay white man like centered space from in my opinion. And maybe people have fun there. I've had a couple times where I've had fun, but it just, like, I feel like I'm really pushing myself to fit the experience versus me just having fun. Mm. Does that make sense? Okay. You, like, you have to lean in a little more. Lean in a little too much for it to be, like, yourself fun. Personally. Yeah. I just don't enjoy those kinds of vibes anymore. I don't know. I don't think it's a crime to say that, like... Just not not the vibe. Yeah, that it's personally not something you're looking for and that doesn't have to be like homophobic etc other things it just is like i don't want to do that and that's okay yeah no hate to anyone doing it if you're having fun doing it i love that for you, you i just I mean? haven't had a good time yeah also like less bed less is now also and we hope literally the worst location of the two. Oh, they have two now <laughs> yeah wow i just don't enjoy it the location. well schwartz and sandy's is also isn't it or no tom 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 tom's in weho I that think it's looks like a mess. Like, WeHo in general gets so crowded. Like the streets are crowded. It is you get really pickpocketed. Busy. Like it's just not fun to me. I don't know why it's so busy. I have there. a tiff with them too. Tom Tom? No, just in oh, the WeHo in general. Yeah, WeHo. The streets of WeHo. <laughs> yeah. Not my favorite place I've gone out either time that I've done it. It's an experience and I'm open to experience all sorts of things, but is it somewhere I'd personally pick to go back? No. No. It's also okay. so difficult to get in and out, in my opinion. 
like driving wise or the- e- like getting a good decent priced uber like it's always so bad mm-hmm. the victorian in santa monica it's just it's giving college <laughs> young it's giving frat party a little in, nicer in, in terms club. of like yeah like frat party in a club it's like they're trying to have club vibes and it's so small and it, well, it's, it's kind of small Wait, thinking about the bar that we went to in Santa Monica that was actually fun and it was like two layers, two levels where we kept getting free drinks because they kept fucking up our Yeah, shit. I don't remember. Good bar though. I don't the know what it was. The name of that place, but I did like upstairs was like a pool table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was downstairs nice. Downstairs was like a basement, but you were like dancing. Mm-hmm. There was like rave music downstairs, yeah. hip hop upstairs. That was amazing. Yeah, that was amazing. So sorry, I don't know what the name is. Sorry. I had an event there on um, Dice. That's yeah. how we kind of are finding like good, good bars, good bars, the dice app. If you don't have it, look for events that are either free, like RSVP free or like five bucks. And if they fit the vibe, like house music or mm-hmm. whatever, just like do it to see. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, the Victorian just. I wouldn't go back. College would not go why back. Why was the line so long? We didn't wait in line, but why was the line but so long? But then we've also walked past it, like because we're in the area and it's like, why are there so then, many people waiting here? And then we walked past that one time at 1030 and there was no one there. So And weird. we were like, should we go there? There's no line. <laughs> why is there no line? You know, like, yeah, maybe that DJ event they had that night was why there was why? a line. Yeah. But it still felt college. Like there was just yes. like a bunch of young kids. Very young. Next is the friend. Controversial. I don't know if everyone agrees with that, but personally, I just feel like the bar's it's just an okay spot. Like, I, if my friends were like, let's go to the friend, I'd be like, okay. I'm not necessarily excited to go, though. And I also feel like it's a trickle down place for people who don't get it into tenants. It definitely is. And I think that's where they get most of their business. Mm-hmm. But I think they just let too many people in. It's also like the music's corny. There's too many people. Mm-hmm. One tiny bar. Yeah, I think it's a place you probably have to go before a certain time and don't stay there any longer than yeah. 11 or yeah. something because it was packed. It was packed. And you couldn't dance. People are just constantly you know, trying to get to the bar, nudging you. It's just, it wasn't it's fun. It's just not fun. Yeah, it wasn't fun. Next is Nightingale, a true proper <laughs> club. That is a no. I just... No. <laughs> almost broke my foot there i mean i sliced my foot what i remember (laughs) literally from what i remember it's a no Um, it's a no it was just packed hot paris hilton was there so that was cool i guess but like and there's a photo booth but i it's just not that special anymore it was giving adult version of like those 18 and under clubs absolutely like it was not 18 and under anymore but But it it was giving that it was giving that yeah. yeah winston house in venice also controversial take because i don't know what i don't know you said i don't know anything about this i don't bar, know really. anything about this bar really but i almost got shut up shot up there so i'm not going there again just for the fear of that the poor thing's got a bad rep for that so sorry if it's not your mo and it's just this one guy if it's just this one guy but i'm so sorry i will never be there again scary terrifying scary character and that's that's the list for now yeah i feel like there's so there's so many bars we haven't been to, number one. And number two, probably ones that we're forgetting. I'm sure. Like, we've There's been so to many. so many bars, I think. My goal in bar... <laughs> the bar universe. Bar hopping or in bar um, seeking this year is to find some cool gay bars. Mm. Well, or more you, like you queer centric to... bars. What are the two lesbian bars you want to go to? Ruby? There's only one. Oh, there's two. There's one... One's like a night. A night? Like a night at a bar. There's one called Dana's Dana's Night. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. It's based on like the L word. Okay. It's where it's the actual bars where they film the L L word. word. How cute. Where they filmed L word uh Generation Q. That's the second one. The sequel. The sequel. Got it. Um Shane in that in the sequel buys a bar and it's called Dana's. Got it. So they have a night that it's like it becomes like Dana's place. That's cute. And it's like, yeah. Okay, cute. The second, I haven't been there. I want to mm-hmm. go. The second one is, oh, I've already been, but uh, Ruby Fruit. 
Okay, yeah, that's the one I was thinking. Is that the one with the country night? Is that no, a different one? That's a different one. So that's, a whole other- <laughs> that's like a whole line dancing bar. I want to go there too. Yeah. Um, oh my god, what's that bar everyone goes to? That's country. The co- oh, what is it called? There's multiple. The- Saddle Ranch. Saddle Ranch. Ranch. Saddle Ranch. Yeah. Anyway, if you like getting on a bowl, get on the bowl. I think that's like the most possible place you could do that in LA probably yeah so if that's your vibe then I guess that's where you're going <laughs> yeah anyways anyway uh ruby fruit and this other country bar we don't know undisclosed but anyway my goals are to find more queer bars but also just better places to dance dancing is hard to come by this in this day and in age day I don't know age. why I think like dance music's dying a little bit and it's making me like sad. we need to bring back clubs like I want to go We back. need to bring back clubs. But not. like. But I want them. Like clubs, but not. But make them fun. Like I want a table for free if I'm at the club. Though. I want ta- like, I want club culture to come back. Mm-hmm. But for it to be like fun. Yeah. And I want to be at a table. <laughs> Correct. Because I don't want to be throwing elbows. Vegas, and I don't, and Vegas I don't, was so fun. Vegas was perfect. Oh, okay. We need to go back. Okay. Well, anyway, maybe we could all split a room this summer. Yeah, maybe we should. We should look into it. Okay, anyways, <laughs> um, bars in LA. If you're looking for bars or looking for which bars to avoid, <laughs> hopefully this helped. I would definitely look them all up and see what what the vibes are because everyone has different goals when they go out. Maybe yeah, you're trying absolutely. to find your life partner at a bar. I don't know. That could be your vibe. That specific niche. Of Very bars. specific niche of bars, I'm sure. So. Hopefully this gave you some guidance and I think that's it. That's it. Yeah. Let us know what you think about our new intros. <laughs> um, they're going to stick around for a while. I don't yeah. know how long, but for a while. <laughs> that's it. Go ahead and leave us a review if you haven't. A little rating if you haven't. And engage with us with our on our socials yes. at We Care A Lot Pod. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe, please. And like the video. Yep. All right, that's it for this week. Bye, Bye. guys.